or walking in outside so in the water, walking. It's first you heard somebody like one minute gone behind the house. And another, like one minute later, another one comes in and my wife tell me, are you not going to go outside and see who is that? Maybe, you know, something is happening. Mm -hmm. And as we come outside, the guys were already on the steps. I got a machete in my hand, you know, so in case something. So you opened the door? I, we opened the door, me and my wife have a machete and say, okay. yes, we see the hole. We see the hole. They have, I mean, uh, I mean uh, just a black t-shirt tied up on their head. And you could see their eyebrow and all of half of their nose. Everything we see, we see them clearly. How much person? Two person. Around 8 p.m., police received information of a shooting incident. As a result, they visited the residence of Mr. Eluterio Chok, who resided in the Young Bank Road, Roaring Creek Village. On arrival there, they saw the motional, motionless body of his son, Ivan Chok, who is a minor, who appeared to be to have two gunshot wounds, one on his right hand and the next gunshot wound on the right side of his face. The person who shot my son was there standing for five, six minutes in front of my son. He maybe, he think double mind before he killed my son. And he never wanted to kill maybe my son because my son was begging him. My son draw himself underneath the table and said, please, please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. And the guy looked at him. He was so sorry when he done this terrible stuff to my son. And from there, he just cracked the palm 12. Mm -hmm. And he said, Bob, on his hand. He catch this first, that first meat on his hand. And that's why I touch him. He never touch him here. He see that the kid never catch my son good. And my son beg him again. Please, boy, please, please. I beg you, don't kill me, boy. Don't kill me. And the boy crank up the, crack up the, the, the palm 12 again. And he just, he never, he just got like this. And Bob, he catch my son on his head. That same damage right there, all, you know, his brains. And from there, mm. all the next one said with the nine caliber said that we kill everybody, you know, but loan gun sign. And the next person who killed my son, he said, no, it's just him. So then gone, and when they hear that my son never dead instantly because he was still breathing, you know, breathing for like five, ten minutes before the police arrived.